Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Dawn Chorus. Uh, man, we passed 600 subscribers and now it's 611. I am really happy about that. Thank you guys so much for everything. Plenty more content coming down the pipeline. No worries there. So anyway, let's jump into Dawn Chorus, shall we? Let's load that real quick. Hope everyone is doing well. Okay. <clears throat> I nod. Wow, this was really very easy. I return to my table and wave at Coach, trying to get his attention. I see no problem with it either, so we can go ahead. Coach simply nods in response and stands up. Okay, everyone, help me move the table. Sure thing, Coach. We all stand up, lift the table, and join it with the other one. Hello there, hope you don't mind us joining. Of course not, the more the merrier. We were just talking about the facilities here. Were any of you in the swimming pool or sauna here yet? Oh, I was in the sauna with Carbon. It's really neat. If you weren't there yet, you should go. Yeah, we visited the pool with Devin. It's fine, not very big, but enough to get some speed. Oh, and there's quite a view from there. By the way, I believe that I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Bjorn, studying neurology. Ah, good idea. How about we all introduce ourselves? I don't know, I don't know most of you yet. I'm Rune, currently in the fourth year of my studies, neurobiology. Apart from that, I also play basketball and have a few other hobbies I try to cultivate whenever I have the time. Oh god, he's new. I think he's new. I'm Travis, studying neurobiology too, but I'm in my, but I'm in my first year. I moved to Norway from the US, but I'm half American, half Japanese. I like anime and JRPG games, Korean cuisine, and some good tea from time to time. Nothing better than a good cup of, good cup of green tea. True, Japanese sencha is my reason to live. I'm more of a fan of matcha. I always start my day with one, but I wouldn't say no to sencha. Um, I'm Miko, and I study marine biology with a specialization in cetaceans. I'm a freshman, and I move here from Finland, just like Carvin here. I make music in my free time, and I like anime, too. Oh yes, I believe we most certainly know each other already. I'm Carvin, and as Miko just said, I moved here from Finland. I study cognitive science, and in my free time I dabble in photography, both digital and analog. So, I'm Lake, and like Miku and Carvin, I moved here from Finland. I'm a freshman too, I only study astrophysics. Only I study astrophysics. I'm happy to meet you all. I'm Jorgen, in the second year of astrophysics studies. I like literature, and I don't like noise. Everyone is looking at Coach expectantly. Click save. Only after a moment he understands that we're waiting for him to do himself too. That's what he gets for sitting with students, I guess. Um, so... I'm Devin. I believe you all know me. I'm a coach at our university, and technically I'm here to supervise you. I moved here from the, uh, from the U.S. less than a year ago, so I'm still just acclimating here. He is suddenly interrupted by the lady from the reception who came with our dinner. She greets us and starts putting plates of food down on the table. First, there's some soup, pea-colored and creamy, smelling of margarine, of margarine and thyme. Then a few dishes filled with various stuff, mashed potatoes, sprinkled with dill, whole-baked carrots and veggie balls, and a jug of sauce. I wonder why there's no meat here. Hmm. And finally, she puts down two plates full of pancaker. Thin Norwegian pancakes topped with some dark blue jam and various fruits. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> I like his expression. Oh, are those blueberries? I love blueberries. Just don't eat all of them. There's eight of us here, Rune. Shh. You know I'm not like that. Hmm. I think it's Aristopa. Swedish pea soup. Interesting, interesting. We rarely have any soups this thick. Ah, what is my what is my tongue doing today? And veggie balls! Looks like we have a Swedish dinner today. Mmm, just as if we're eating in a Yukia restaurant. Yukia. <laughs> Yukia, Jesus Christ. I've never been to one. Are they good? The food here looks delicious for sure. Well, they're not as good as this place, but for the price, the value is really good. Oh, I used to go there a lot back when I was in high school. I'd grab my books and go there to study, taking advantage of the unlimited coffee refill they have there. You were going to Yukia? 
To study? Those are words I never expected to hear from anybody. You're really lucky you have you have them here. We have maybe one in the whole state. Oh, by the way, Carvin, any luck with the key? I gulp loudly, swallowing a huge chunk of carrot and start coughing. I didn't tell most of them about the key yet, and I didn't really intend to. I don't really like to talk about my failures and misfortunes. Oh, uh, no luck there yet, unfortunately. Maybe the janitor will find it eventually, and I uh, keep my eyes open, too. Huh. What about your key, Carvin? Did you lose it somewhere? Yeah, after lunch it disappeared somewhere. Why, did you by any chance find a key laying, laying somewhere? No, unfortunately. Do they give you a spare one? No, they asked me to move to another room for today. It's not that bad, then. Good, they had some spare rooms. No, no, they didn't have any. They asked me to move into someone else's room. Oh. And where are you staying? I don't know yet. Everyone goes silent for a moment. Hey, don't worry about it. I know I have some options, I just didn't decide yet. The mood quickly brightens and the light-hearted conversations continue as everyone goes back to eating. Lake acts shy at first, overwhelmed by the amount of new people, but warms up to them quickly and amuses everyone with stories from the dormitory, like the one about his roommate boiling sausages in an electric kettle. Okay, we do have some meat. We got a whole lot of meat here, actually. Ha. Bjorn manages to snatch some extra pancakes that Jorgen and Coach didn't want, while Rune ends up eating most of the blueberries despite his earlier words. Mika stays silent for the most part of, for most for most of the dinner, but it makes some effort to include him in the conversation too. Travis tells us a bit about Japan. Jorgen talks about a gallery in the nearest city that's apparently a must see, and Devin tells us a bit about how life in the U.S. Well, about how life in the U.S. looks like. It's really great to be here with everyone. Let's see. I'll go with Lake and Jorgen. I, I'm gonna do Lake for this playthrough. So, what do you guys say? Oh, he's cute. Of course I'm in. Count me in, too. Yeah, good idea. Twelfth noticed us when we were walking out of the cafeteria, and Lake asked him to join us. He was happy to tag along, suggested that we go to the lobby together. Whenever we, when we arrived, it turned out that his plan was to talk us into playing table pawball, table pawball together. Not that we needed much persuading. We need to split into teams. Any ideas? I want to be with Carbon, if that's okay with you. Agree. Oh, sure, I'd like that too. Okay, that's settled then. Good. Thought that would take much longer. We approach the table, me and Lake taking the red side while Jorgen and Turolf take the blue one. Can I take the strikers? Sure, I'm better with the goalkeeper. Great, thank you, Carbon. Jorgen fetches the ball from their goal and looks at everyone else at the table. No spinning. I hope we are clear on that. No spinning. Ah, sorry. No spinning. Noted. Sure. So can we start? Jorgen serves the ball and it rolls over to the other team's midfield players. Sorrel fits the ball skillfully, sending it straight into our goal. Ha! Did you see that? Whoa! Sorrel, you're good. Okay, that was pretty anticlimactic. I'm not one to give up easily, and after a beginning like that, I can't help but feel a bit discouraged. I retrieve the ball and pass it to Lake, who serves the ball again, straight to Turolf. The Tiger manages to shoot between our players, but this time I stop the ball with our defender. Not wanting to give Turolf any time to react, I shoot the ball straight ahead. It slipped between all the players and fell straight into the goal. Great job, Carvin! You're good at this. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. He gives me a high five before we go back to playing. That was fun. Thanks for the game, guys. We lost the match with a seven to ten score. Ain't hey, not bad. It's not so bad. They got a they got a lot of luck though. They got a lot of luck. Although I have to admit that Turolf is a beast. I can't help but feel a bit mad about it anyway. I really gave it my best, and we still lost. Blake was sulking. Ooh, excuse me. Lake was sulking for a few minutes after the match, but he came back into his usual energetic self after Turolf promised him a rematch. Now he's sitting next to me on the couch, my arm brushing against his, his occasionally, but he doesn't seem to notice, or at least doesn't mind. 
I can feel the heat radiating from his body. A sudden realization hits me. I don't think I've ever been this close to him before. A strange sensation fills me, something akin to a warm glow illuminating me from the inside. It's nice just to sit here together. I don't feel a need to really say anything. It's getting late and the sun is already approaching the horizon, filling the room with a golden glow. Carvin? I turn towards him and see him observing me closely. Look at that look. Look at that look. Oh, he's gonna ask. He's gonna ask that question. Uh, you don't mind me being this close? What? Of, of course not. <laughs> he smiles gently and moves even closer to me so that we're almost snuggled up together. We stay like that in silence for a moment, just enjoying this evening before everyone leaves for their rooms. I stay here for a bit longer, just enjoying this moment of peacefulness. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go with light. Ooh. I'm in my room. What's up? Blake responded to my message almost instantly. I came here hoping to find someone, but since dinner, it's oddly quiet in the whole guest house. I just lazed around for a while before deciding to text Lake. Got any ideas on what to do? I'm down in the common space. Come over if you want. We'll think of something. Okay, this is better than sitting here alone for sure. I get up from the sofa, walking in the direction of Lake's room. That's a gorgeous room. Hey, you got here fast. Come in, Jorgen is inside too, and I've invited Miko already. Oh, I didn't think this would turn into a party. Hey there, you. Um, hey there, Jorgen. Carvin? When I enter the room, Jorgen is sitting on his bed and tapping at his phone furiously. He gives me a quick glance before going back to writing. The orange-tinted afternoon light reflects in his thick glasses, partially obscuring his somewhat feminine face. Standing here and looking at him, I feel like he is really somewhere far away and I might never reach him. Not until he would reach out and pull me in first. I definitely wouldn't call it a party. Besides, I thought about going out for a walk. It'd be nice to move a bit after dinner. Playing table paw ball is nice, but that's, but that's just standing in one place failing your paws. Alright. I shall pause it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!